guys what is up and welcome back to another call of duty mobile video now over here today i have a pretty interesting video we're gonna go ahead and look at every free skin that you can currently go ahead and get in call of duty mobile because i know a bunch of you guys want some more free skins and there's actually a bunch of awesome free skins that you can go ahead and get in season 7 so i hope all of you guys are super super excited for that now just a few quick announcements before i actually go ahead and hop into this video my giveaway came to an end yesterday and i did go ahead and announce the winners but in case you missed it over here are all three winners again but i did indeed start a new giveaway and this time it is for four battle passes and like always guys the steps to enter are exactly the same all you have to do to enter is just subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and then also go ahead and leave a comment of your in-game name or your email address so i can go ahead and contact you if you do win but anyway guys i hope all of you are super excited for this video because there's a bunch of awesome free skins that i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys but anyways with all of that out the way let's hop right into this video so like I said guys, there's actually a bunch of skins in the game that are totally free and we're going to go ahead and start this list off with skins that are guaranteed and then we're going to move on to skins that are not guaranteed but you kind of have to go ahead and get lucky. So very first you guys on the list is going to be a character skin that is in the credit store and that is going to be Special Ops 3 Arctic. Now I know a lot of people do not like the skin but in my opinion for what it is and for how cheap it is, being only 3,000 credits, it is super cheap, it is super cool, and the best part, it is free, so you cannot go wrong with that. So anyway guys, that is going to be the very first skin on this list that you can go ahead and pick up for free. Now moving on to the next skin, it's also going to be another skin with the Arctic skin on it, and that is going to be Outrider Arctic. Now this skin came into the game a long time ago, but it is still available up until now and all that you have to go ahead and do is link your Call of Duty mobile account with an Activision account and then you are going to go ahead and receive this awesome skin over here for absolutely free and I actually have an in-depth guide of how to go ahead and get the skin guys and I will put the link down below in the description. But anyway guys, now moving on to the next skin and that is going to be Battery Skulls and Blood. Now this skin over here is super nice and this character skin is actually very similar to another character that was super expensive. So over here we have Battery Skulls and Blood that you can go ahead and get in Battle Royale at Master 2. I do have a full in-depth guide guys on how to go ahead and get the skin super quickly in Battle Royale and I will have the link down below in the description. But the cool thing about this skin, about this character, is the fact that it looks so similar to Battery Half Pipe Valentine that was a super expensive skin but now you can go ahead and get Battery which is going to be the Battle Royale version which is the Skulls of Blood that is completely free it is quite a grind guys but it's definitely worth it because it looks so damn cool and I would definitely recommend going ahead and trying to pick her up now moving on to the next skin and that is going to be Captain Black Lime now if you guys know, Captain is one of my favorite skins in the game and now there is a free version of that skin and all that you have to go ahead and do is just spin the free lucky board every single day. You have 10 ads that you can go ahead and watch every day and then you can go ahead and get this super cool skin. And there's actually two ways of getting this character. First, you can go ahead and get lucky on the actual board and pull the character or you can go ahead and save up 300 of these lucky coins and then you can go ahead and buy the character with those 300 coins which is super cool. Now the cool thing I found out guys, I know a lot of you cannot watch ads but I found a way around that. If you go ahead and spam the watch ad button, it will eventually allow you to go ahead and watch an ad and that way you can go ahead and watch 10 ads every single day which is indeed going to go ahead and allow you to go ahead and pick up this super cool character. And then moving on to the next two characters, and both of these are going to be seasonal challenges. Now the very first one is going to be Ruin Tangled Web, and might I say, I think he looks absolutely awesome. I love the Tangled Web skin on Ruin. I really think it does match him the blue and the white, and like the whole spider webs really actually look pretty awesome. Now I made a full in-depth guide of how to go get them quickly yesterday, but one tip I have for you guys, I know a lot of you are struggling with kill two enemies in Battle Royale, but what you can go ahead and do is select the clown class 
And then what you do guys is place the clown bomb on the ground, let the zombies spawn and then you can actually go ahead and drive over those zombies with your vehicle and if you kill them they are going to go ahead and count as enemies and you are going to be able to go ahead and finish off that challenge meaning you are going to get the awesome looking ruined skin. Now that's a super cool skin guys and I hope that tip helps you guys because I know a lot of people were struggling with kill two enemies but now you can go ahead and do that a lot faster. But now moving on to the next character and that's going to be Lev Kravchenko the Stitch. Again, he looks super cool and definitely worth the grind. And over here, the grind is super quick and easy. All you have to do is use Predator Missile 5 times in MP matches, then capture the point 10 times in hardpoint matches, kill 10 enemies with headshots in MP matches, then kill 10 enemies with headshots with the Arctic 50 with no attachments, and then finally to get the actual character, consecutively kill 15 enemies in MP matches without dying. So as you guys can see, those challenges are a lot easier and you can go ahead and get that character a lot quicker compared to the Ruin skin, but I do think the Ruin skin actually looks cooler than Lev Kravchenko. So anyway guys, those are the two characters that you can go ahead and pick up in the seasonal challenges. And then moving on to the next character and might I say already, this is my favorite free skin of season 7 and that is going to be the Vanguard skin and might I say wow, I am so hyped for this skin and I cannot wait to go ahead and get it and it's actually super easy to get guys, all you need to do is log into the game for 24 days and then you are going to go ahead and get the Vanguard skin. It's so cool guys. I love the backpack. There's an axe on the side. The mask is super cool. And actually look her hair even moves. Just an awesome skin guys. And definitely one you do not want to go ahead and miss. Because it is an epic skin firstly. And also it is just so cool. And a huge improvement over the previous season. Where we got Nomad Druid. Now speaking of Nomad Druid guys. He's actually still available to go ahead and pick up up in the game and all you have to do is just log off of the game for over two weeks and then you are going to receive a new login event like a new soul to return event and he's actually one of the options to go ahead and receive him as a brand new soldier return event. You can also go ahead and get the M4 Jade and the AK-47 Jade, but for the characters, they did put Nomad Druid. Now, the way it works is basically once you return to the game after over 14 days, you'll have a brand new soldier return event, and you're going to have three options. You're going to have the soldier, which is going to be Nomad Druid, and you are going to have two epic guns, which is going to be the M4 Jade or the AK-47 Jade. Now, once you choose one of these items over here, guys, you are going to receive receive it for 14 days and then it does expire but there are going to go ahead and be challenges and if you do complete these challenges you are going to get the character or the gun forever so you are going to go ahead and get it permanently if you do complete all the challenges that they have put out for you and something else as well that's absolutely crazy is the fact that you can also go ahead and get ruined spades if you do go ahead and complete the soldier return event now that is crazy on so many levels because firstly I spent a lot of money on that character crate and I never was able to get him. Now one season later, if you don't play the game for like over two weeks, you'll be able to get this skin for free and that is just like 150% crazy. But anyway guys, that is going to be the new character which is going to be the Vanguard skin looking super cool and you can also still go ahead and get the previous season's character which is going to be Nomad Druid. But now moving on to two more characters that are free but you can also go ahead and buy them with card points and that's going to be Outrider going dark and the Elite PMC going dark. So first you guys, they are in crates and you can go ahead and buy them with card points but you can also go ahead and earn these crates for free by playing battle royale and ranking up and by playing ranked for multiplayer every rank you move up you are gonna go ahead and get a free going dark crate. Now when I first saw this I thought it was going to be impossible to go ahead and pull the characters because they have a 0.5% chance, but I actually was able to pull the Elite PMC going dark 
for completely free using the crates I got from playing rank. Just super cool, guys. So you can go ahead and get both of these characters for free, and they both look super cool. The only issue is, guys, they are not guaranteed. You have to kind of get lucky, which does make it difficult. But as you guys can see, I was able to do it, which does mean it is, in fact, possible to go ahead and get either of these two characters in the Going Dark crates for absolutely free. And I think that is just super, super cool. But now moving on to the final character. And this character over here is one of my favorites again. And it looks so awesome. And that's going to be the Phantom Championship 2020 skin. And wow, this character is not in the game yet. But whew, it looks so cool from what I can see over here. Now the way to get the skin over here guys, firstly, you have to go ahead and qualify for stage 2. And then obviously you have to go ahead and make a team for stage 2. And then once you participate in 30 ranked matches with your team, you are gonna get this skin for free. As you guys can see, it does say participation reward is the Phantom Championship 2020 skin. So basically you don't have to qualify for stage the next stage. All you have to do is participate with your team and play 30 ranked matches and you are gonna receive the Phantom Championship 2020 skin for absolutely free and it definitely looks super cool. So if you guys qualified for stage two, make a team and play 30 games with your team. You don't even have to qualify for the next stage all you have to do is participate with your team, play 30 ranked matches, and you are going to receive this awesome looking character. Now like I said guys, it's not in the game yet, but you are going to go ahead and receive it once it is in the game. And I think it is so cool and definitely worth trying to go ahead and pick up. But anyway guys, that is all the skins you can go ahead and pick up for free in Call of Duty Mobile. What do you guys think? Which one of these skins do you already have? And if you guys didn't know about any of these skins, let me know down below in the comment section and let me know which skin you don't know about and which one you are going to go ahead and pick up. Because in my opinion, guys, character skins are always nice to go ahead and have because they do kind of refresh the game. Like if you look at the same character all day, it kind of gets repetitive. But if you can go ahead and get an awesome free character, it definitely spices up the game just a little bit. So anyway, guys, those are free characters you can go ahead and pick up on Call of Duty Mobile. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than usual, but there's a lot of characters. So the video did take a little bit longer than usual to go ahead and make. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And I hope all of you guys have a great day. But anyways, squally out. Cheers!